themselves from former President Donald Trump, and they no longer want him in position of power within the Republican Party. The article says this quote, the former president hasn't been interviewed on the Rupert Murdoch-owned cable network in more than 100 days. Chen is tonight's company, Turning Point contributor and featured author at BizPack Review, Aaron Elmore, and the executive editor of Newsbusters, Tim Graham. Aaron, Tim, welcome to the show. All right, so it's interesting here, Aaron, I'll start with you. It's not just the New York Times. The Washington Post actually wrote a piece about this as well. And they had stories um, out talking about, okay, this is something that we've seen frequent. Um, they didn't cover Trump's speech last week, but they did cover uh, Vice President Mike Pence's speech, so calling out these differences. Do you think this is a strategy um, by the Murdochs here, or is this just a difference in opinion? Is this a difference in uh, not liking Trump? Well, certainly the Washington Post and the New York Times would be salivating if this were an actual problem. We don't actually know yet, as you indicated, but let's look at this instead of from Fox News's perspective. Let's look at it from the president's perspective. He goes on 9 p.m. Sean Hannity, which is a very friendly show, and then the commercials start running, and they're for, let's say, the Lincoln Project or another anti-Trump organization. So he can have a great segment and really reach the American people and get a message out, and then the advertisements that you see during the break really negate all of his hard work. We do know that people like Paul Ryan and um, Rupert Murdoch's son, especially Lachlan, aren't exactly pro-Trump actors. So what they're saying and what we are hearing here, there could be a kernel of truth to this, if not more. But I do believe that it's uh, a symbiotic relationship here between Fox and Trump, that they both sort of feel the same animosity towards each other. I certainly don't think it's one-sided, but I do believe that the American people, regardless, deserve better. They deserve to see exactly what's going on in the United States of America, and that includes Trump rallies. I want to play you a clip of the president on the Dan Bongino show last year. Take a listen. I wouldn't say Fox has been exactly perfect. Fox has been a big difference of Fox between now and what it was four years ago, as you know. But we have others that come along and they're doing well. And uh, uh, Newsmax has been really good. And, you know, others are coming along and people are seeing that they're watching these conservative networks. Just from a from a business perspective, who's got more to lose? Is it Fox or, or, or Trump? Meaning, you know, he's now got alternatives. He didn't have that same in 2016. He now has other places to go to get his message out. Absolutely. What a glowing endorsement for Newsmax, right? Everyone should pat themselves on the back. And it's true because Newsmax is sort of seen as this new home for conservatives. You guys do a great job delivering the truth and delivering information in a way that the American people, especially conservatives, understand, appreciate, and want. And when you do turn on Fox now, you see a lot of pushing for vaccines and pushing for boosters, especially around when Biden was diagnosed for COVID, not once, but twice. And I think that what matters most here for these networks is ratings. And when they're, they're when they see maybe over at Fox and those other legacy media outlets that their ratings are tumbling, maybe they will change their tune. But I know your guys, you guys do a great coverage of these rallies and I know it's doing really well and you're really resonating with the American people. And Donald Trump does have a great voice in other places. Plus he's got so many social media warriors out there. And that's by the way, Another way that people are consuming massive amounts of information is on social media. And he's got warriors everywhere on all four corners of the internet, just really getting his message out there to the American people. And if it wasn't so, Twitter wouldn't have banned him, now would they have? Right. Tim, you know, you guys at the Media Research Center, you monitor all of the stations. It's interesting, I, I feel like we're talking about conservative media, right-leaning media, but the, the mainstream guys, they won't even talk, they, they literally shun, not just Trump, but anybody affiliated with them, the, the Meet the Presses, the ABCs, they won't have Trump guests on. Aaron, Tim, thanks for your time tonight, good to see you both. Thank you thanks. so much.